Hello. Oh, I've just been outside clapping for the NHS and for all our carers. I wonder if you're back in yet. Yep, I can see some people coming on now. Hello. I'm sorry you're missing the big night in. <laughs> and that um, you've just finished clapping maybe. But absolutely brilliant that so many people, the nation, are coming together to clap for our NHS, to clap for our carers, uh, the care homes, all the staff there, all our volunteers. So absolutely brilliant. So wonderful. I know in Kelvedon Hatch we could hear fireworks going off. We could hear pots and pans. What a joyful noise. What a, what a way of, yes, showing our appreciation. Who'd have thought a few weeks ago that we'd be doing this every Thursday night? absolutely wonderful the nation coming together to say thank you and this tonight is a way of us coming together to say thank you to God to lay down before God all our worries all our concerns it's a way of us coming just before God just as we are to say I love you Lord thank you for all that you're doing in and around me so, I hope that you've all had a lovely day. The weather has been amazing. And now we're just going to calm ourselves after all the excitement. And we're just going to still our hearts and minds to worship God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say the words of the confession together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now it's a hymn, but I'm going to say the words. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams, defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so tonight our psalm, as ever, is Psalm 104. We say the refrain, then verse 1, and then we go from 21 to 33. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth from their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you've made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. 
There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. And when you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading tonight is from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And so we say the Nunc Dimittis, the song of Simeon. And we say the refrain first. The Lord is risen as he promised to you. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen as he promised to you. And so we come now to our time of prayer, of intercession. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Loving Lord, we thank you for today, for all the things that have happened this day. For some of us, that might have been quite, quite a busy day, quite a involved day. For other of us, others of us, it might not have been that much. But Lord, whatever we've done, we thank you. We thank you for our homes, for the fact that we have a roof over our head when so many others don't. We thank you for the clothes that we have, for the food that we have. Some of us may have more than others, but we thank you, Lord, for whatever we have. We thank you for friends and family. And we just, Lord, everything comes from you. your own do we give you 
Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, tonight we praise you for the NHS. We praise you for our care homes, for our hospices, for our pharmacies, for all the different places that we can turn to for help and support. People who man the 111 calls. We just thank you, Lord, for all these different people caring for others. We pray, Lord, for the parish council and for Brentwood Council. And we pray for the hubs that have been set up that will support people in need families in need and we just pray Lord for those families those individuals who need that support thank you for the volunteers that work in that work to help people Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as well, Lord, for all those people that, the farmers, the pickers, the packers, the delivery drivers, the shop workers, the shelf stackers. We pray, Lord, for the Oh, the gas board, the electric, electricity board, all the different facilities and services that we need, Lord, to keep us going. For our charities and volunteers, Lord, just thank you for so many. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we get bogged down in thinking about our own country and its needs. And rightly so, but at the same time, Lord, we bring before you the needs of the world. We pray for the war-torn countries who just have so little. We pray for Syria and Yemen. Pray for so many countries that are struggling. We pray, Lord, for all those countries that are without the NHS, well, without a health system like ours. All those that don't have good sanitation. this time of COVID, we just pray for them, Lord. We pray for refugee camps, shanty towns, and densely populated areas, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we bring before you, we lay before you all our worries, all our concerns, the things that we're frightened about, the things we won't admit to anyone else. 
bring them before you now, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sad, the sick and the lonely. We pray for our families and friends that we can't see at the moment. In a moment of silence, Lord, we name them before you now. Lord, I lay down before you the book where I write all the specific prayers I'm asked to do. Lord, be with all those named in that book. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And Lord, as we come into the evening, as it grows darker now, we pray that we might have a quiet night and a peaceful end. Pray for those whose life will come to an end tonight or during the night. May they know your loving arms to embrace them as they return home to be with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, we've come to the end of another night's prayer. Thank you for joining me. I pray that you will have an enjoyable evening now, a restful evening, that you will sleep well. And I'll see you in the morning. So, good night and God bless.